It's Monday, April 16. This is the news on PBCJ. I am Simone Absalom. Former Director of Elections Aret Fisher has withdrawn his lawsuit against the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, the ECJ. According to Mr. Fisher's attorney, Hugh Wildman, Mr. Fisher withdrew his suit because he has resigned from the post of Director of Elections. Mr. Fisher had filed the lawsuit to prevent his dismissal. He was seeking a judicial review of the decision of the ECJ not to renew his seven-year contract, which expired in 2015. At that time, he was working on one-year contracts. His attorney argued that the contracts were in breach of the law. Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie says his ministry will be spending $200 million to improve the conditions of infirmaries across the island this financial year. He says of the $200 million, St. James will be receiving approximately $80 million. According to Minister McKenzie, the funds to undertake the island-wide improvement projects are being made possible through a joint partnership between the Ministry and the National Housing Trust, the NHT. The minister was addressing the regular meeting of the St. James Municipal Corporation last Thursday. The private sector organization of Jamaica President Howard Mitchell says the group has been asked to join the Vale Royal Talks. He said there is a need for a timeline in which matters like crime, public order and the discipline should be dealt with. But for the time being, the organization is awaiting the formal invitation from the government to participate in the talks. The private sector had planned a crime summit last month, hoping to get the government and opposition to agree on a plan to tackle the crime problem. However, it was cancelled to facilitate the budget debate. Women's rights advocates have renewed the call for insurance companies to restructure the way in which coverage of pregnant women are handled. As it stands, pregnant women have to pay out of pocket for prenatal care, and then submit a claim form to their insurance provider for a refund. Lead investigator for the Partnership for the Promotion of Patients' Rights in Maternal, Neonatal and Infant Health in Jamaica, Professor Wendell Abel, says given the challenges in terms of maternal deaths in Jamaica, this requirement by many insurance companies isn't helping. He told the press, quote, it denies many women access to critical health care during pregnancy, and it's obviously something that must be addressed. End quote. He further stated that the policymakers must intend to dialogue with the various companies, and that women and the wider society must affirm their rights and urgently address this. In regional news, the global shipping industry has for the first time agreed to cut its emissions of greenhouse gases. This move comes after talks all week at the International Maritime Organization, IMO, in London. Shipping has previously been excluded from climate change agreements, but under the deal, emissions will be reduced by 50% percent by 2050 compared to 2008 levels. Shipping generates roughly the same quantity of greenhouse gas as Germany and, if it were accounted for as a nation, would rank as the world's sixth biggest emitter. The United States, Saudi Arabia, Brazil and a few other countries had not wanted to see a target for cutting shipping emissions at all. By contrast, the European Union, including Britain, and small island states had pushed for a cut of between 70 to 100 percent. So the deal for a 50 percent reduction is a compromise. In sports, Jamaica won 27 medals in three sporting events at the 21st Commonwealth Games, which came to an end on the weekend in Gold Coast, Australia. It's the most the country has ever won at the Games compared to 22 at both Glasgow and Melbourne. As expected, track and field accounted for the majority of the medals, 25 comprising 7 gold, 8 silver and 10 bronze, while there was 1 silver in swimming and a bronze in netball. And that's the news, do stay with us. The Weather Report is next.
This is PBCJ's weather report. Thanks so much for staying with us. Let's start as usual with our local currents. In Kingston this afternoon, we can expect sunny skies with temperatures between 24 and 28 degrees Celsius. We could be getting some scattered showers this evening as the sun sets at 6.33 p.m. Over there in Montego Bay, St. James, you can expect scattered showers today with warm temperatures between 21 and 28 degrees Celsius. And the temperature is set to go down to just about 12 degrees Celsius this evening as the sun sets at 6.33 p.m. Let's take a look at what's happening across the island. We're seeing showers in the grill and we're seeing cloudy conditions over there in St. Thomas. Temperatures set between 28 and 31 degrees Celsius. In our forecast for tomorrow across the island, we're expecting temperatures between 27 and 30 degrees Celsius. We're also expecting scattered showers across most parishes. We're looking at cloudy conditions in the northeastern end of the island as well. And in our Caribbean forecast, we're looking at what could be happening tomorrow. Cloudy conditions across the region, so we can expect a weather condition to continue affecting the region this evening going into tomorrow. We're looking at sunny skies, though, for Campeche, Mexico. And further afield, let's look at the United States. We're looking at Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and Atlanta. Sunny skies for all areas. Cloudy conditions in some areas over there in New York. We're looking at a minimum temperature for those areas, 4 degrees Celsius, a high 27 degrees Celsius. And that's it for the weather report. Thanks so much for making it PBCJ. I'm Simone Absalom. Pleasant viewing.